it's another getting real with Ashley Dawn. I'm Ashley Dawn and I want to get real with you. My shirt says take the trip, buy the cookie, or eat the cookie, buy the shoes, and something else. Eat the cake, something. Anyway, my shirt basically says, like, do it now. Don't put it off tomorrow. Do it now. Don't be trying to say, well, I'll do that one day. I'll, I'll do that later. Do it now. Tomorrow is not promised. You have that dream, do it now. I'm on my way to something very exciting, an answered prayer, and I'm so stinking excited about it. And I just think in the back of my head, like if I wouldn't have stepped out, this wouldn't be happening. I need to encourage myself more, and my sweet friend Carolina prayed over me. I need to step out more. I need to just go for it. I talked to my friend Jenny, too, and we were just talking about it's so easy. I've got, like, something on my shirt. It's so easy to, you know, well, I'll just wait till everything's perfect, and I'll just wait until the weather's perfect, and, and my, my finances are perfect, and this is good, and this is good, and this is good. Listen, faith is trusting when you don't see the staircase. Faith is trusting when you don't see the staircase. Faith is stepping out because everything inside of you is screaming for you to step out, but it doesn't make sense. But you can't find, like think financially how you're going to be able to pay your bills, but you're stepping out anyway. I think about my dad. When I was a little girl, I had a great job, was doing construction, building buildings, uh, he was doing stucco. He had a very good job. He was making good money. And he walked away from all of it because God had created him to be an artist. And he had a gift. And he walked away from all of it. And there's, the street I'm on is 41. And every single building in the 90s on this street was painted by him, was airbrushed by him. Because he believed in himself, because my mom believed in him, because he took a chance on a dream, because everything inside of him was screaming, Bobby, you're an artist. Bobby, you have talent. Bobby, you have a gift. I just painted rocks. And it's <laughs> God is so funny because he reminds us when we forget who we are, when we forget why we're here, he reminds us, he's like, I've created you to be an artist. I've created, you're the daughter of Bobby. He took a chance on his art. He took a chance on himself. He was self-employed. He was an entrepreneur. So are you, Ashley Dawn. Step out in faith. Stop being so darn scared. Stop allowing fear to keep you from doing what God has created you to do. Stop it. Step out. Take a chance on yourself. Here's the deal. If you don't take a chance on yourself, who else is going to? Nobody. You have to do it for you. You got to take a, a chance. You got to take a step. You got to take a chance on yourself. What's the worst that can happen? You can fall. Okay, so that didn't work. You know, try something else. What's the best that can happen? You can succeed. But you're never going to succeed if you always stay on the boat. You're never going to walk on water if you never stretch your foot. If you never get out of the boat, you will never know if you can walk on water. If you never go for that dream, go for that passion, you're never going to know what could happen. So why don't you just go for broke? Why don't you just see what happens? Why don't you just take a chance on yourself and see what happens? What if it was the greatest thing that ever happened to you? What if it was every dream that you have ever dreamt coming true? What if it was the answer to every prayer you've been praying? If you just took a chance on yourself. If you just took a leap of faith. My dad took a leap of faith. My mom took a leap of faith. And my life is an example of that. I'm getting ready to pass one of the paintings my dad in the night dad painted in the 90s you'll see it it's gonna be right here see it right there it's been touched up since then but he, that was his design he freehanded that in the 90s God put a, a passion and a gift inside of him and he used it to glorify God 
God has put passion and gifts inside of me and I would be doing him a disservice if I did not step out and do what he has called me to do. So guess what? Pretty soon, you're gonna be seeing that I'm going to be stepping out and doing what God has created me to do. And it's gonna look crazy to a lot of people, but it's not gonna look crazy to God because it's gonna be me finally, finally going for what he has put in my heart. So I could use all the prayers and all the support um, because jumping without a net is very scary, but I'm trusting that God's gonna catch me and that he is going to breathe fresh air into the sails of my little sailboat and he's gonna breathe wind into these wings because it's my butterfly season and it's time for me to crawl up out of that cocoon and fly. And I encourage you, if you're watching this, crawl up out of that cocoon and fly too. God has put things inside of you for a reason. Go for it. Go for broke. Go for it. Bet on yourself. Go all in. Put all the chips. Okay, God, I'm all in. I'm all in. This is crazy. And I don't know what in the world I'm doing, but I'm going to trust you. I'm going all in. Let's go all in on ourselves. And let's see what God does with that. I love you. This is a short one. My friend Alexis encouraged me to do more short ones. So this one's for you, Alexis. Go all in. Take a chance. Take crazy, crazy chances on yourself. Take a crazy chance on yourself. I highly doubt you're going to regret it. I love you. God loves you. You are seen, celebrated, and loved. And I will catch you in my next one.